So you ever make a fist and your finger gets stuck? As in, it literally gets stuck in the palm of your hand and you go to open and it gets locked or left behind and you almost have to flick it open. If that sounds like you, you may be suffering from a very common condition called a trigger digit. My name is Dr. Craig Burgess. I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon here at Ortho, Arizona and I see trigger digits literally every single day in my practice. It's a conversation I've had with thousands of patients and it probably ranks as one of the most common operations that I perform. So does everybody with a trigger finger need an operation? No. And most patients can effectively be treated conservatively, probably even up to 60 to 70% of the time without ever receiving an operation. The fancy name is stenosing tenus synovitis, and, and basically what that means is that there's inflammation between the pulley system in the palm and our tendons, and the tendons are held against the bone by those pulleys, and when there's inflammation, you can imagine a knot, and that knot is getting snagged in the pulley, and in order to bend down, you're literally pulling that knot through that pulley system. So the treatment is directed at trying to relax that knot or, or open up that pulley so the system can glide and function more normally. Not everybody actually presents with that classic lock. Most patients, especially when caught early, simply have pain in the palm of the hand. They're, they're gripping things or carrying things or their hands on the steering wheel and it hurts. It's only late when the finger actually begins to catch. Oftentimes, we honestly don't know. And there are certain patient populations that may have a, a predisposition to getting it. And that includes rheumatoid arthritis or some patients with diabetes. But it's less common that somebody's gonna come in and say they just worked in the garden or handled a, a shovel all weekend long and now they have tendonitis, though that's possible. First is trying to identify what may be the underlying cause. If we can understand that, we may be able to slow or reverse the progression. Other conservative measures include giving a simple injection through a small needle that takes about three seconds. Everyone always asks, is it painful? And every shot is, but it's a very short, very simple procedure that's done in the office, typically the same day that you're treated. That injection is given near that pulley in an attempt to open it up and allow the tendon to glide or to function normally. We would typically see you back in about a month and reevaluate. Sometimes it requires a second injection. Now, after conservative management has failed, there is a procedure that can be done to get rid of it permanently, and that's called a trigger finger release. More and more, some patients can even be candidates to have this done in the office setting percutaneously, virtually without an incision. Classically, however, a small incision is made just over the finger. It's typically closed with two stitches. It can be done with some sedation or purely under local anesthetic. It's an outpatient procedure and you're sent home the same day. After two weeks, the sutures are removed and within four weeks, you're more or less resuming your normal activities. Many patients ask, can it occur in more than one finger? And the answer is absolutely yes. In fact, it can even occur in the thumb and it's an equal opportunity nuisance. I see this in young patients, old patients, females and males alike. So if you find yourself with pain in the palm of the hand, or that you're frequently noticing that your fingers are getting stuck in the hand, you may very well have a trigger finger. So click the link below, visit myself or one of my partners here at Ortho Arizona, and allow us to help you.